Where is Robin? Created and written by Robin Barone. Up in a tree, Robin was curious to see every place she could possibly be. Don't worry, Mama, I am doing this for me. It's time to go. I want the world to know that I am looking to see its show. Don't worry, Mama. Wherever I may roam, I will not forget about home. From City Hall above, Robin could see the city of brotherly love. Along the parkway to Boathouse Row, the art museum housed paintings from artists to know. Robin was in Philadelphia. The city was founded in 1682 by William Penn. Many famous advancements came later from a leader named Ben. Independence Hall was where the Declaration of Independence was signed. It was a gathering place where values of freedom and liberty were combined. The Liberty Bell is housed across the street. The Constitution Center next door is where the past and present meet. Next destination was the capital of the United States. So many monuments to explore and so many dates. Her favorite view of all was standing in front of the White House gates. Robin is in Washington, D.C. Off to the memorial to visit a former president. She chatted about his life and what his work meant. As the 16th president of the United States, Lincoln led to end the Civil War and slavery. Very important dates. Robin continued south to the Outer Banks shore. From atop massive sand dunes, she could hear the mighty Atlantic roar. This island was home to the Brothers Wright. Thanks to them, in 1903, the first plane took flight. Over the Smoky Mountains and then in the heart of the South, Robin stood on the grand stage and opened her mouth. In Nashville, country musicians had to make their mark. They sing their heart and soul all day until it's dark. In the brilliant spotlight of the Grand Old Opry, Robin launched her country song in America's Music City. Robin is in Nashville. In the Florida heat, this bird found herself beat. She thought a vacation in the Florida Keys would be neat. This trip has got me on the run. I think I deserve to have some fun. It's time to relax and enjoy the sun. Then she headed north along the Gulf Coast and landed in the city, once a French trading post where Creole was the flavor of food eaten by most. New Orleans was the city where jazz was born. So many activities in the French Quarter, Robin was torn. Heading west to Texas, also known as the Lone Star State, she visited large ranches and ate steak that was first rate. She was invited to referee a football game where the players looked just like the team's name. What's all that noise? It must be those rowdy cowboys. In the desert of the Southwest, Robin found the sunset that was best, standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon so wide. If I want to get to the bottom, perhaps I should take a donkey ride. The Colorado River runs through the canyon a mile below. How the canyon formed, scientists still don't know. Robin is in Arizona. Robin continued west to the coast and landed in L.A. She toured Hollywood on such a brilliant day. In Southern California, the glitz of Hollywood took Robin by surprise. Dreams of acting in a movie twinkled in Robin's eyes. The Pacific Ocean was steps within reach. 
it's time to walk to Santa Monica's Third Street Promenade and then hit the beach. On the most beautiful day, Robin arrived in the city by the bay. From Presidio Park, Robin stood on a ridge. She admired Sausalito across the Golden Gate Bridge. Robin is in San Francisco. Up in the Northwest, the weather was not always the best. Why not have a coffee at Pike Place Market and take a rest? The city of Seattle sits off the Puget Sound. Sometimes people use ferries to get around. Towering in the distance, the Space Needle marks its place on the skyline. The tallest structure in Seattle is also a place where you can dine. Heading to the central states and reading, reaching the continental divide, these snow-covered mountains are massive, Robin cried. The capital city of Denver is located a mile high. It's hard to breathe easily, she said with a sigh. The Rocky Mountains are an amazing place to ski. Skis made for a bird, how could that possibly be? Robin is in Colorado. In Wyoming lies Yellowstone National Park. She saw all kinds of animals until it became dark. Robin befriended a buffalo, elk, and deer. She then told them about her adventures far from here. In the heart of blue sky country, vast land far as she could see, she was in a national park where animals roamed the prairie. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt are memorialized at Mount Rushmore. Robin paid respect to these presidents while hearing the mountain lions in the distance roar. Finally, she landed in a city full of light. Many tall buildings by the lake were illuminated at night. Chicago was the largest city in the Midwest. Sitting beside Lake Michigan, she planned her next quest. Hmm, where can I find whose deep dish pizza is the best? In the heart of Detroit or Motor City, Robin drove an original Model T. The city is the birthplace of Motown music and the assembly line. Look who is performing tonight, Robin read on the Fox Theater sign. In Beantown or Boston, Robin connected with early U.S. history. This city was famous for a tea party in 1773. Robin headed to Fenway Park to watch a Red Sox baseball game. This team and stadium were home to many famous athletes that sports fans could name. The bright lights of the Big Apple await. The view, restaurants, and activities are first rate. Around Lady Liberty and past Ellis Island, Robin flew. The energy and excitement that she experienced was unlike anything she knew. From the Statue of Liberty, Manhattan was within glance. The statue was a present given to the U.S. in 1896 from France. Robin rode the subway north to Midtown and exited at Times Square. With all the people, lights, and activity, moments of silence are rare. Amazed by the gathering of activity of 42nd Street and Broadway, Robin bought a ticket to a musical for that very same day. There she is. It's my Robin. My dear child, where have you been? Mama, I have traveled this country and it is so great. Now I am ready to see the world. I must set a date. 